And he now said, the power of God is not what you talk about, it's what you display. Paul said something. He said, when I came to you, I did not come within the eloquence of speech, but I came in the demand of the spirit and power that your faith might be in God and not in man. Do you understand what I'm saying? What we have seen is that we have had men who have that, that speak eloquence. They have, they have the power of words, but they lack the presence. Say, so I came in the demonstration of the spirit and power of God that your faith might be in the power of God and not in man. Who is, every time you see a man standing, who is your faith in? Every time challenges come knocking at your door, tell me the truth. Who do you remember first? That's to tell you that the messages you've been hearing, if it's not pointing you first of all to God, it then means that you heard me and not God. So when they end that, they say, look, the power of God is not what you discuss or talk about. It's what you ask and you display. And he said, they called the camera man. He said, when did you get He said, I bought it start for this program. And he said, now camera, I command you to stop working. <laughs> Simple. And he said, the man started clicking, 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 clicking. Camera refused to work, new camera. After the program, as he was walking away, the man, the young man, around to say, sir, please, sir. He said, new camera, I just bought it. He said, oh, okay. Now camera start working, and he walked up. And all the clicking that he clicked, he just like the power of suspension. <laughs> and until he spoke again, look, listen, it was a system that was shut down when Elijah said, "Until I speak, even as I stand before the Lord, except I speak, the heavens are shut." In other words, he shut down a global system. He shut down not just the earth, but also the heavens. He shut down those systems. I said, nothing happens. There will be no rain except I say so. Why? Because when I stand with God, I speak from his presence. And I speak with his assurance and with power. So listen to this. We are, the season that we are in is a season of the battle of systems. The battle of altars. The one who has the power to speak. Have you not noticed that it is by the power of systems spoken into the atmosphere that is affecting the things that you do, even your thoughts? That is why you see that, look at people all of a sudden, the cases of su uh, suicide is, getting in, is increasing by the day. Divorces, uh, the divorces are increasing by the day. Why? Systems that have been put in place. All of a sudden, because of systems, men began to say, no, 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 no. My features are actually a mistake. I'm actually a woman. Because it's not about my future, it is what I think. Mm. Now they now strengthen the system and they now say when you are given birth to when you are when you in the labor room, they will now come and ask you, what do you want your child to be? They scan say they don't know. What do you want your child to be? So that they will inject something that will begin to change the systems. Is it not time you begin to speak to systems that look, this system will shut you down? Like, listen, if the laptop is not giving you what, what, what you are calling it to do, then you say from today, no man eats anything from you. It was a system that Jesus shut down when he stood by that fig tree. And he was expecting to eat from the fig tree. The fig tree refused to produce the Lord of the whole earth, the creator of all things, standing by you. Well, you must respond to the desires of the creator. So if he says that I will not produce, then you receive a curse. You, that system is shut down. It will not produce again. What, I, what I'm saying is this. What we should be able, we should get to the point where we begin to speak to the system. The system called INEC. The system called beavers whatsoever they be listen all beavers let me tell you the system that may have been put in place for the rigging 
that system comes to an end. Amen. Do you understand? The system comes, as you wake up in the morning, a thought comes to you. Don't think that the thought just came. If you can think it, as the Osefino Kereke that says, if you can think it, if it's thinkable, then it's doable. Do you understand? If it's thinkable, then it's doable. For the fact that the thought crossed my mind that I can shut down systems, it then means systems can be shut down. Do you know why? Because as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So I believe and I know that I can shut down systems, I can upturn systems. So if a system is not working the way I believe God ordained it to work, the way that speaks righteousness, then I have the power and I have the authority to shut it down. And that system will listen to the voice. Why? Because I am a co-creator with God. Do you see what I'm saying? The knowledge that God is opening, there is a fountain that is opening up, is a fountain of life, a fountain of power, a fountain of grace that will begin to bring men into... Hmm? <laughs> I just took a peep at the time. Wow. That will bring men into an operation of God's kingdom. And that kingdom will be planted. That is what it means. The mountain of the Lord star shall be exalted above every other mountain. In other words, the system of God's kingdom shall be exalted above every other system. Then men will now see a different kind of operation so that they will leave the former system and they will prove to this system and they will say, come, let us go to the house of Jacob. There is a system we've heard that operates in a different way and it's producing an unusual result. It produces... Things that we thought could never come to life is not coming to life in that system. Things that we thought can never be possible to operate that way. We said, no, Nigeria is finished. No, I, I, I'm sure, I don't know if it's only me. I said, no, Nigeria don't finish. I said, not the Nigeria I'm in. Maybe your own Nigeria, but my Nigeria just began. My Nigeria is just at the threshold of breaking forth. Africa is at the threshold of rising up. There is a system that is upcoming. And that system is a system that produces life. It produces righteousness. It produces authority. It produces a rearrangement. And it establishes the kingdom of God in this realm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The glory of the Lord is bursting forth. There is a bubbling from the inside of you. The limitations are taken out. The pathways of life is now open unto you. Today, God opened to us the life gates. Amen. God opened to us the life gates today. Amen. Make bold to enter into that life gate, for in the life gate you will connect with the power to speak to systems. I decree and declare that every contrary system that does not speak righteousness, they are shut down now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We enter into the political system. We enter into the government system. We enter into the cabals and everything that they thought. Oh, they are so confident that they have put everything in place. Listen, those things they put in place. I have the final say. They are going to work in the favor of, the, of God's kingdom. Amen. What it means is that, look, you know what I keep seeing every time I speak like this? They will say, they will try to maneuver things. You will find that the person will be sweating. Would he? Why? Because, ah, uh, uh, this is not what we program. Uh, are you saying, what's going on? Okay, remove this laptop. Give me another laptop. They will carry me. Do you know why? Because I have the power to enter into systems. I have the power, the words that I speak, they are getting into systems right now. And they are rearranging everything that was said. Every contrary structure, every structure of corruption, they are collapsing. Amen. They are collapsing. Amen. They are collapsing. Amen. And the structure that is established in righteousness, that carries the authority of God, that carries the very life, that carries the prophecy that has been hanging over nations, that is bringing it to pass, that structure, that structure is now entering into the system Amen. and is rearranging the system Amen. and is raising up. Is establishing a system that 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 backs righteousness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We we'll give you praise. We we'll give you honor. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, O God. In Jesus' name, amen. we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Let us speak. I want you to use what you've heard now to speak to structures around you, around yourself. Speak to structures around yourself that have not been. You can see. No, you will just see this one. Okay, this one is a structure of corruption. 
I cancel you. I shut you down. This is a structure of corruption. I shut you down. This is a structure of failure. I shut you down. This is a structure that produces death. I shut you down. You see, there are structures that are fighting you now. Begin to shut down those structures. Just look at them. Look at You will be amazed that all of a sudden things will begin to turn around in your favor. They will start working well. Those fights that are, those structures, those systems that are fighting you. Why? Because they have seen that what you are doing is establishing righteousness. So they say, no, we have to shut this down. Right now, shut down those systems. Those structures that limit your progress. The structures that will not allow you to enter into the full operation of your destined purpose in life. The structures of delay, the structures of failure, the structures of blackout, the structures that 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 makes people think that they can play God in your life. Shut down those structures right now. The structure that gives a man the audacity to proclaim as if he is God in your life. We shut down those structures. We say they shall no longer go. They begin to collapse one after the other. Structures of death are shut down. In fact, people that the enemy introduced into your life in order to set up a structure of either delay, hindrances, failure, those structures, they begin to crumble now, one after the other. And even the people will be removed one by one. They will be rooted out. The shaking has begun. He said, I will shake the heavens and the earth. So that the things, in fact, if you want to, the other person, if you, he said, the things God has not planted, the things I have not established, the things I have not spoken for, he said, they will not remain, they will be removed. So what is that thing around you? What is that thing within you? that Abba did not plant. The structures are rooted out now. They are rooted out. They are rooted out. That structure that tampered with your destiny. That structure that stood and said, I will ride on the star of this one. Today you are shut down. Speak directly. Don't say God, shut it down. It's you, you, shut it down. Because you are standing on that authority, on that decree that says, every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. I open the scroll of judgment unto you. I say, you have tampered with my spark and my blessing long enough. I take from you all that you took from me. Sevenfold restoration. I shut it down now. Your operations come to an end. A dark cloud comes upon you. Your light goes dim. Your eyes become blind. Your perceptions, your perceptions are lost. Your, t- your tongue clings to your mouth so that you can no longer release words. Oh my goodness. Then a terrifying fire comes into your place now. To terrify you, you to terrify you in your sleep. A fire begins to burn around you that will release terror round about your place, round about your altar, round about your bed, on your dining table, as you walk in every place, as you walk on the street, you will start running when no one pursues. Because a fire goes to burn up all his enemies round about. Your own wickedness is now coming upon your own head. Your manipulations is now being multiplied and it's returned back onto you. That which you gather, that which you plan, you now carry it with your own hand. You have said that you are over, you are above the law, but now listen to what the word of God says. I have taken my place and I speak 
I said, that which you thought you were above, there is now a greater law that rules, that speaks over that law that you are above. Now, I now begin to speak because I speak from heavenly realms, from the ascended place of grace, and from the throne of Yahweh. And I decree and declare that your end has come. Your end has come. The days of your flourishing has come to an end. Now you begin to wither. Your days are done. <laughs> your days are done. It is finished. As Jesus declared on the cross, it is finished. I now declare concerning you, O worker of iniquity, you that, you that, you that, oh my God, that you that brood wickedness, I decree over you that your, it is finished. It is finished. Oh, my hand, the system you establish now crumble upon your own head. It fails. Those systems that have been in place fighting against you so that the things that belong to you, your inheritance, they are they are standing against it and fighting it. Now reach out to those systems, rearrange them and take what belongs to you. Because they are rightfully yours. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. We stand upon the decrees that say, Arise, O Lord, and let your enemies be scattered. The Lord is, and I hear the Lord say, I have arisen. And my hands are stretched out. The rod of wickedness is taken from off your Lord. That rod is system. And that is why it has caused men, even righteous men have been putting their hands into iniquity because of the rod of wickedness. That rod of wickedness is a system. It is removed. It is broken. That scepter is broken. A scepter of righteousness is now lifted over the systems of the world. Thank you, Father. We bless you. We honor you, Lord. Righteousness is established. The life of God is speaking. The kingdom systems are now in place. No man can overcome this. Anyone that tries to do anything contrary, they will be kicking against the tree. And this rock will overrun them and will beat them small as the dust, even before the wind. And they will be blown away. Thank you, Father. We embrace the rock. We embrace the rock. And we declare that we are one with the rock. Thank you, my Lord and my God. In Jesus' name, we will pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And we now, everything they put in place that we do, that we do not, many, not too long from now, a few moments from this time, a few hours from now, 24 hours after now, a few days after now, you will start hearing strange calls. Amen. Because systems are being upturned. Amen. There is a new system in place, and that system Amen. bears your name on it. Amen. A system that carries righteousness. Amen. A system that carries life. A system that has uprooted things that were planted to bring about a stumbling. But now they have become a stepping stone. Amen. A new system is in place. Amen. It's called the systems of the kingdom. Amen. The systems are now speaking. And I hear the rejoicing. For the life gate is open. Rejoice! Glory! Rejoice! Rejoice! For the systems are now broken. And life has come to be. Amen. You are exalted Amen. above your fellows. Amen. A new name has been given unto you. Amen. Where you have been ridiculed, now you shall be celebrated. Amen. Where you were impoverished, restoration now comes. Amen. The places that you were put to shame, now you shall be celebrated. Amen. 
I just see garments being torn away from people, Amen. and new garments are being placed in people. Yes. And it's a yeah. garment of praise, a garment of dance, yeah. a garment of celebration, a garment of rejoicing, a garment of rejoicing. And the Lord said, Rejoice, for the system has come. Amen. And it has come to stay. Amen. Said the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Declare to somebody it's a new dawn. It's a new dawn. Tell that person congratulations. 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 Today marks the beginning of your days of your restoration. Today marks the beginning of your days of your restoration. Rejoice. Rejoice. Lord, rejoice. 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 Enchantment against you. Amen. There is no divination against Amen. your house. Go and prosper. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. The Son. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Come again. Congratulations. Wow, congratulations. Yeah, that's the word. Congratulations. When you meet any Nigerian, any African, anybody anywhere, just tell them congratulations. They will say, eh? Is it congratulations? The systems have changed. Yes. Yes. Amen. Let that be your confession from yes. this side. Yes. When you hear people complain about Nigeria, we are in the boss, yeah? Just tell them, guys, I have news for you. Congratulations, everybody. The systems have changed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That will become your testimony. Amen. Of Nigeria, of Africa, Amen. and of the nations in the Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right, so we come to the end of today's meeting. It's been a glorious time. Now, okay, I thought I was going to announce something. I talked about it in the morning, but I want to emphasize it now. You see, for those for the prophetic words we've been that have been released through the dances and even in this place. In fact, if you notice and observe that there are prophetic words that you receive, and you can see that, you can trail that they've not yet been fulfilled. If you can write them out, write them out. The Lord said we should start a special meeting that is apart from Wednesday, and it is called Taking Hold on Your Prophetic Promises. And this, let me just give you an insight into what we'll be doing. We'll be Discussing the you see, some of the, the reason why some of those prayers are not come to pass is because you don't know how to engage it. Yeah, it's because you don't know how to engage, understand the definitions of those prophetic words. So, what we want to do is to discuss them. You will see that some of those prophetic words, it may be just one line, you'll be amazed that you be a teaching. So we'll be talking about them. It was yesterday, I went, no, on Monday, we had an elders meeting. We, we had come for an elders retreat in December. And then um, prophetic words came. And it was recorded. So one of them, one of the elders started listening to the prophetic word. Oh. And every time he listened to it, every time he listened to it, they knew. Imagine came one day and said, come. We have not discussed the prophetic word, say, because those things are filled with instructions. Honestly, when we began to listen to the prophetic words, right, it was so strange. There were instructions for individuals, then for the group, then for families, for each person's family, then for even for the businesses and finances of each person, what they need to do. You know, actions they need to take, what they need to start, what they need to stop, in order for the things that 
the things that they were experiencing, the negative they were experiencing, for those things to stop, these are some things you need to do, these are some things you need to put away. These are, it took them, took us through each one of those. It was, we were playing it that Monday, it was about um, 20 minutes plus, and it was a flow of one, person, one prophecy unto another, one unto another, one unto another. And we, when we began to discuss it, it was it, we discovered that each one was a teaching. We did not exhaust it, but at least it now gave people a good idea of what they need to do. And almost immediately, one of the elders had to stay back, and we began to discuss. He was already acting on it. Listen, there are things that are locked within prophecies that you need to do. If you don't pay attention to that, all you are praying, Ah, oh, Father, you promised to. Oh. Mm -hmm. You said it to. Oh. You promised to. Oh. One year will pass. You promised to. Oh. Two years have passed. You promised to. Oh. Mm -mm. See, God has spoken. He said, my word will not return unto me void. You are the only one that is, that is delaying yourself. Mm -hmm. If you understand the instructions locked within that prophetic word, you will see that you will unlock the promises. Look at, he said to Abraham, walk before me and be that perfect. The promise I've told you is, look, I spoke it. My promise, I am bound by my word. That was why I did not swear by anything created. I saw by myself. Because I couldn't find it on that thing which could swear. So I saw by my own word and by myself. And he said, that word, will, I have released it, it will not return to me for it. It may take five years, it may take ten years, it may take a day. It depends on if you are able to align with the instruction locked within it. Well, look at the first thing he said to Abraham. He said, leave your father's house, leave everything. And walk before me. Just follow me onto a place that I will show you. So the word was, follow me. He said, leave your father's house, leave everything that connects you to your bloodline. Then he carried his nephew. Until that nephew left him, the Lord never told him, lift up your eyes. Mm -hmm. But when the nephew left, Abraham could have started negotiating on behalf of the nephew, like most of us would do. Please, I'm telling you, so we are going to start it. I don't know when exactly we'll start, but get ready. It may be strictly online. We'll organize it in such a way, maybe... We, maybe what I'll do is first come, first serve. <laughs> so that the first pe person to send in his or her prophetic word, that's the one we'll discuss. Because I'm sure it will be just for one hour, 30 minutes. So we may not be able to take more than three or four. Don't laugh because I'm strict with that timing. <laughs> I'm strict with that timing, one hour, 30 minutes. Uh, eh? What did you say? What did you say, Lola? I just heard you. I thought I heard you say something. Yeah, yeah, she heard something. She said she said I said I said she 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 said when we come, we just give thanks and we flow into it. We are not doing it just because I believe everybody will be coming from the place of ascension. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So let's start building into it. Because honestly, this year, ah, permit me to use one of your land. No, I will use it. I'm coming. <laughs> this year, that celebration, that trailer celebration that I saw, I must attend all those weddings. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. If I have if I have to, if I have to oh, multi-locate. Nice. <laughs> I will do that. I will be in this one. I will be in this one. I will be in this one. Hey. Same day. Hey. I must attend those weddings. I must attend those celebrations. Hey. Do you understand? Hey. That's just the minor ones. Hey. I will must also. I must also attend those ascension meetings that have been set because people are going to encounter God like never before. Hey. Amen. You understand me? Hey. So don't look at what the situations are saying to you. No, you decide what the situation what you want the situation to be. Yes. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. 
you are the one who will decide what the situation what you want the situation to be. So don't allow the situation to dictate your joy. You speak joy into the situation, Amen. and you will see the transform. Yes. Um, I didn't want to say anything, but I started losing my peace. Mm -hmm. Perhaps if you have somebody in this life, I will, I will ever be here. That's what in I this, okay, I should go up in. Go ahead. Uh, sorry, um, YouTube, if you can join the link to our Telegram or Facebook because the ba this battery is running low, except there is a call. That's actually why it went off. The call has to be long enough to get here, or else we switch power back to here. <laughs> yeah, it's a full package of patients. <laughs> How to be fast? Thank you. Yeah, continue. Okay, I said I didn't want to say anything until I started losing my peace that I need to speak in case it will help someone else. In this past, uh, today is the 19th day. 18 days of our 21 days. I believe all the prophetic words that have been coming, God is his, for me, it's message that is repeating those words. Because there was something the Lord said to me 10 years ago. Then, um, sometime in November, He reminded me the same thing. And I looked at it, oh, I let go. But during these past few days, the word came again, deeper and just exactly what He said. After that one, there was another one. There was something he asked me to be doing. I started the first day, the second day, I went there again. The next day, it was again. The prophetic word get again. This is what God wants. By speed, by fire, by force, I started. So I want to, I, initially I didn't want to say anything, but when I lose my peace, I decide to speak. So it will help somebody else. That the word that is coming this time, for me, is as a result of mercy and grace. The things we've let go, the things we say, oh, but all of them they kept coming back. And I don't have a choice than to respect myself and align. <laughs> Thank Praise you. God. I will just confirm that the truth is, I believe strongly that most of you, you may have been hearing a repetition of the words that may have been spoken to you before. Like she said, it's actually an operation of mercy. And it's because of the season that we are entering into. It's because of the season that we are entering into. Do you know when God, the people that he called by his name, when he said that they are sick, sick they are sick next people, that's because he kept saying the same thing over and over and over and over. In different ways from different prophets. And yet, they choose to remain adamant. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy on us. We can't continue this way. We cannot continue this way. Amen. Amen. Any other thing? All right. In the absence of none, we we'll just declare. Oh, okay. Behind this thing, like fixing something there. Wow, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know what that means? Those are system angels. Fixing. So standing here fixing something. That's very prophetic. System angels. We just talked about entering into systems to reorganize and to fix systems. So your eyes are open to show you that they were actually here. And what the what you saw is what they will start entering into the system as we speak. They will Amen. enter into the system to fix systems. Amen. So, continue, ma'am. There was another one. It was around here. But it was close to this, in this fabric. Wow. And I don't know if it was where I placed the portal. I remember yeah. that one. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't remember very well. It was just standing there and folding like that. It was just so I remember very well. Right. Is, 
Didi, ela é do ar lá. <laughs> you know, there are things. Yeah, she's always going there. Now, uh, now I understand. You know, uh, and as Paul said something, that uh, anytime you're teaching in church, you will see some, you will see some teenagers. Be, I'm sorry, they don't hear me. Project. Uh, I project. Yeah, no problem, I will project. <laughs> you know, he said, when, whenever he's talking, I know it was from here, they are there, they are fixing to say, I'm tapping into something right now. You know, he said, anytime he's talking, some teenagers will be giving themselves high five, <laughs> and they'll be laughing. But one day, that's one of them. He said, what? Why is it that? That's Baba. <laughs> or everything you were saying, already told us. He said, yes, they are in that quarter. Which quarter? Is there anything else there? Yeah, where is that? He said, just told them jokingly. So they now showed him. He said, one day, he said, the, the following morning, when they came to pray, they met him. He had taken over. He had taken over. So, uh, somebody did not say it, but God decided to open it up today. Now I know. So maybe we'll, we we'll rearrange. <laughs> we'll rearrange this thing. And, uh, but, but uh, um, you know, that's on the light and God. Seriously speaking, in case you don't know it, if you live or walk around the island, and every time you encounter difficulties or you are facing challenges, I want to encourage you. The very first day Hannah walked into this place, I don't know where. We were holding a meeting that day. We were holding a conference. The very first day she walked into this place, she's about the fifth person that was saying that. She had to pull her shoes so that her leg would commune with the ground, with the floor. She said the ground was actually communicating, it was vibrating. And in case you guys don't know, what you don't know is that this floor is actually hanging upon the balance of God's swinging and rocking world. Now, why I'm saying this is just like it was when they were dedicating the temple and Solomon prayed the prayer. He said, the children of Israel, wherever they are, and they pray facing this temple. That was the secret of Daniel, when you see him opening his door, his mm -hmm. window, mm -hmm. he was facing that temple. He said, answer them. Listen, if you are ever on the island and you find that, oh, we are going through stuff and all of that, just come here. Don't even say a word. Just come. Just lay flat. Mm -hmm. Or lay on any of the chairs. Or lay down. You, will be, you did not say a word. Either of those things will happen. It's either by the time you get up, that thing is resolved, or you will have encounters where instructions will be given to you. So what she just shared is actually just a confirmation that there is a presence in this place because of the kind of life that has been released from this platform. And that is why, you see, man, note this. You will find that there are some fellowships that will start shutting down in this place because of the change. There's actually a change of God. There's a change of God. And that's why they are opening eyes to show you that the angels that are coming out, they are fixers. Do you know why? Because the present operation is that we are fixing the earth. Yes, you understand? Yes, sir. They are fixers. They are fixing the earth. That is the operation that we are in. We are correcting the things that have been wrong. Mm -hmm. That is what Isaiah chapter 58 says. By reason of the waiting upon the Lord, the fasting that he called you to do. He said, when you have completed that fast in accordance to the way he ordered it, he said, then you will become a well water garden. Mm -hmm. You become a restorer of the old waste places. Mm -hmm. The desolate places you will restore. He said, you will become fixers. That's how one translation. So you will become fixers and arrangers and restorers of things that were broke, the bridges that were broken down. So I want to encourage you. Connect with the present operations, angelic operations and kingdom operations. 
Students in schools, you will see that they will start fixing things. They will start correcting the errors on campuses. Even children in primary schools. That is why teachers in this present time, they must not follow the old order. Even though you are teaching history, teach history from the kingdom. You are teaching biology, teach biology with an unction. Such that you are teaching people are seeing Christ. That was what William Cunning was doing when he was teaching mathematics. He would teach mathematics, lecturer. The next thing, he's using mathematics to preach Christ, to unveil Christ. That's the realm we have entered in. I want you to say to yourself, like you mean it, I am a fixer. I am a fixer. Wherever I am, things that were broken, they are fixed, they are corrected. Is that not what that thing is for? He said, He has anointed me to heal the broken hearted. You body can be for us. I want you to know that. The broken heart is because we saw certain things. Ah! Just like what I talked about, that children will be scrambling for a dead cat at the risk of their own lives. Because they, at least let, let, let's eat meat. For them to be doing that means that they'll be eating rats. Even though rats is good food in China. <laughs> Yes, now. In fact, I was even in Nigeria. You know, frogs are good. If you go to Benin, yes. yes. you will see too. If you see how it looks, I, I, I said, hey! I was careful not to eat just anything. <laughs> I have to be sure that the switch I'm eating. <laughs> even though they say it's very nutritious, for men, I, just they look at it. And, you know. But it's not, for, it's not poverty, because even the rich eat it. As a matter of fact, I say, the first time I went to a Chinese restaurant and, and, and I, the only thing I could pronounce was Ponyonya. Yeah. When they brought the Ponyonya, you know what it was? Where they corrected lizard. Lizard. Mm -hmm. Ponyonya. <laughs> so they paid for the food, but I didn't eat it. <laughs> Thank God it was a rotating table. So I just let it pass. And I saw what looked like fish, and I made sure that it was fish. Then I took that one. Then for you. So since then, at least if I don't, so every time I, I pick up a Chinese man, the first thing I look out for is for you. If I don't for you, I don't Amen. Media. Media fixers. People who will transform things. Creators. That's the era that we are in. The angels have been released. Partner with them. Partner with them. You will be amazed that these people, anything you want to do, you will find that they will teach you divine curriculums that will correct the systems that have been. Because Whatever is coming up. Now, that's why you see that God is taking out some people. Uh -huh. At last, that is actually for. God is taking out some people from ranch. Why? Because he wants to teach them. He wants to build things into them. Bring them into realms of encounters. So that when, they, when he sends them back into the system, they will come with a new life. They, they, they will become a new breed and they will start raising new breed and start fixing and correcting all the errors that have been. That will be your portion in Jesus' name. Yes, Simona, yeah. yeah. let's hear you. Just a moment. Just a moment, please. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, okay, sir. So I just feel like we are speaking to Trump and David. It's uh, colluded with my birthday. So oh. Glory yes, to God. Yes, Father, we thank you because in this season of, you know, I, too, I, I just had structural adjustments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in this season of divine structural adjustment, mm -hmm. we decree and declare that mm -hmm. your life is restructured in accordance to the divine order mm -hmm. that your scroll 
was ordained to fulfill. Amen. Even in this time. And we declare that the timelines that were lost because of the speakings of the old order, those timelines are not only recovered, but they are now restored back unto you in the name of Jesus. We declare that you will excel and you will be called a fixer, Amen. a repairer. Amen. The old parts shall be restored back unto you. Yes, the things that were broken down, you will see them fixed and they will become smooth, sputting ground. Things that caused men to stumble in the old times and in the old season will now become things that will cause men to rise, they will fly, they will walk, they will run, they will leap, and they will shout and praise in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. It's your new season. It's a new dawn. And the power of life is released unto you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Yeah. All right. So I think that's all. We thank God for this wonderful day. We thank you, Father. We we'll just glorify your name in every life. Whether on the on Facebook, on Telegram, on Mix FR, on YouTube, Lord, on Zoom. Glorify your name in the life of everyone. Amen. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the gifts that you are bestowing on people. The gifts of dreams. The gifts of divine encounters. The gifts. I see rewards coming. I see rewards coming. And I'm seeing fragrances. Being, I'm seeing a communion. I see a monument that is happening. That is, there is actually a memorial of the offerings of people that is whispering into the ears of, of the Lord and is negotiating territories for them. Amen. We declare those territories open now. Amen. We declare them open. Amen. The Lord will have you make this pronoun. Every offering that you have given, that you will give from this time henceforth, they will start finding divine expressions. Amen. They will express life. Amen. They will express honor. Amen. They will express glory. They will express love. Amen. They will express goodness, greatness, prosperity Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. The Lord says, I'm raising a new crop of wealth carriers. Amen. A new crop of a, prosper, a prosperous people. Amen. A new breed of a people called prosperity. Amen. In other words, she is not just making you prosperous. He saying you, you are prosperity. Amen. Meaning that any year you step into, prosperity begins to reign. I just see that. I don't know why I'm hearing the Lord is offerings and negotiating territories and barriers. Amen. Your offering will speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your seed will speak for you. Amen. Your seed will speak for you. Amen. Your sacrifice will speak for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. So I commend you unto God and to the word of his grace, Amen. which is able to build you up and give you your own inheritance amongst all those who are sanctified. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you. Recording stopped.